Hey everybody, it's James from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Uh, this is our weekly comic book pickups. Today is June 27th, 2018, and these are the comics that I currently picked up from the comic shop today. Now, uh, every week, I try to pick up the boys at least one comic each. Blaze is going to be 16 next month, Keaton's 11, um, and they're both really into comics still, which is great. <clears throat> so I get them at least one book each, usually two books, and sometimes some extra cheapy books if they're at the shop. Um, Gracie gets a book every once in a while, but she's only four, so she doesn't really read yet. She just likes the pictures. And then every once in a while, James gets a book, too. This week, I actually picked up previews as well, which is, for people who don't know, the Comic Shop catalog. Uh, they publish this every month, showing new titles and new product coming into comic shops. It's a flip book type thing. Um, and so every once in a while, I'll pick up one of these just to stay updated, see what the boys are into. They also have these supplements, like there's a Marvel supplement, a DC supplement, and an Image supplement showing what each of those publishers do, because they're not in this main book anymore. Uh, back when I was really picking up previews heavily, all the companies were inside this same book. Now they have all these extra supplements. But I don't really read anything DC currently, or Image currently, so I just left those there. Um, the boys can look through this Marvel one and see if there's anything coming out that they want me to pick up or that they're interested in. Uh, so there's that. And the main reason I bought the previews is because this pay ad on the first page for the Diamond Select Real Ghostbuster figures. I know it's silly to pick up something for an ad, but this is a really cool thing to see. And it's the first time we're seeing Peter and Ray with the packs on. And that's pretty cool. Uh, this will be fun, too. This, this Netflix Stranger Things by Dark Horse. Dark Horse does great licensed stuff, so that should be fun to pick up. I'm sure I'll be picking that up for Blaze. All right, so there is that. Next up is a Gracie book, and that's Marvel Superhero Adventures number one, which I thought we just got one of these recently, but maybe they call them all number one. Or maybe that was just a special and this is a series now. I don't know. But she'll like it because it's got little kid versions of Spider-Man and Ant-Man. Looks like maybe Taskmaster. I think that's who that's supposed to be. Yep, Taskmaster. Yeah, she'll like this. This will be fun for her. Uh, next up is Infinity Countdown Darkhawk number three for Keaton. Now, Keaton hasn't really been talking about this Darkhawk book that much, so I don't know how much longer we'll be picking this one up. I'm not sure if he's really that, that keen on it. Um, let's see. Writers, Chris Sims and Chad Bowers. Gang, gang, gang. I don't know if this is the same guy that's been doing the art or what. This doesn't look as good as what I remember it looking like, though. I mean, it's decent, but I don't remember it looking like this. It's a cool shot of Darkhawk, though. I don't know. Uh, so we'll see if he keeps going on that. Uh, and next up, I grabbed another one of these issues of Daredevil for Blaze. Um, I think he's still enjoying this, and we're almost caught up now, but it's up to 604. These have been back issues I've been picking up for him to do this Mayor Fisk storyline, but it looks like it's not Mayor Fisk anymore. It's also not Ron Garney anymore. I don't know if this is just a fill-in issue, or if Garney's off the book, or what. I'll have to go. I'll find out next week when I pick up 602. This is this guy's good though. I like this. It looks like he's trying to mimic the style that Garney had going on the book. Ooh, Daredevil fighting hand ninjas. That's pretty cool. All right, that looks cool. I am gonna go back and read these. I'm gonna go back and read these. Uh, next up are some True Believers. First up, I get these True Believers each time, pretty much every week, because they're only. One dollar each. And they reprint classic Marvel storylines. They tie into what's currently going on. So in this case, the True Believers right now are focusing on Ant-Man. because He's got a movie coming out. This one, though, it seems like it's more the focus is on Ghost, who's in the Ant-Man movie. This is a reprint of Iron Man 219, with a storyline of Iron Man versus Ghost. Uh, yeah, this one's going to be fun for them to read. I like this. This is going to be a dollar well spent. And this is definitely a dollar well spent. I actually had this book as a kid. Uh, this one reprints saying Ant-Man and Hawkeye Avengers Assemble, but it's really just a reprint of Avengers 223. This is an iconic cover of Ant-Man riding the arrow. I had this book as a kid. I remember reading it and thinking it was a lot of fun for an Avengers book. And there's a lot of storylines that I remember, and I have bought trades and have the boys check out, like X-Men Inferno or some of the older Batman and Superman storylines. But just random issues, sometimes I'll see one and I'll be like, oh, man, that was a lot of fun. I remember reading that as a kid. So this is cool to see one that I had as a kid that I'd kind of forgotten about reading uh, as a True Believers. Uh, next up is Venom number three. Keaton is still sticking with Venom. It's probably his favorite book, but it now has competition. Uh, we were at Half Price Books the other day, 
And Keen's been talking about the Ghostbusters series that I buy from IDW. That's my book that I get. And saying, you know, he really wants to read more of those. He read the Turtles Ghostbusters. And I think he might have read Get Real, maybe. I can't remember for sure. But he's talking about reading other issues. And so while we're at Half Price Books, I looked for some. And they were two bucks a piece. So I grabbed just whatever random issues they had. And he doesn't mind reading random issues. So he grabbed them. And he read them. And he loved them. And then he was like, man, I would really like to read more of these. So I went back and I grabbed another copy of the first IDW Ghostbusters trade. Um, and he blew through that thing in a day. And last night he was going through and talking to me about all the little Easter eggs he spotted. Because there's a lot of Easter eggs in those books. Like little stuff hidden around the edges of, a, of an image. Um, and I bought that copy. Because sometimes they don't like to, to touch my books because they're afraid they're going to mess them up. I really don't mind that much. But uh, uh, they're always afraid that they're going to mess something up. So I, I like to get them their own trade so they can feel free to really read it and take it with them and do stuff with it. So I bought that extra copy of that, and so now they both can read that one, and he's already torn through that and in a day and finished it off, so I'm going to get a second issue for him. But the Venom now may have competition from Ghostbusters as his favorite book. I don't know. We'll see. But he is really enjoying this. Looks like it's still Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman on the book. So if their other issues were good, this one should be good as well. And a few people have messaged me on YouTube and said this book is really good, so I'm going to have to go back and read his copies. Oh, is that Miles Morales? Oh, that's pretty cool. That, that looks like kind of a take off the old McFarlane cover with Venom above Spider-Man. Yeah, this looks cool. This is another one. Venom and Daredevil are two that I need to go back and, and read myself. Uh, next up is a... Oh, this is it. The last book here is uh, another issue of Big Trouble in Little China, Old Man Jack, that Blaze consistently picks up and enjoys and laughs at. Um... They keep doing these nice homage Batman Returns card back covers. So I really like that. Uh, whoa, Jack. Take it easy, man. Who, who writes this? Read my John Carpenter. That's pretty cool, man. That art looks fun. I need to go back and reread these at some point, too. I have a lot of reading to do. So that's it, man. Uh, men, women, people, everybody. Those are the books we picked up this week. Uh, if you enjoy watching these videos and seeing what these boys are reading, uh, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, hit notify with the little bell icon. Uh, leave a comment if you read any of these books or if there's any books you think we should pick up. And we will do our best to try them out. Uh, that's it. So i see you guys next time.